Hi, this is Dee, and I wanted to uh, make a short video today to go over our website, yahoosoasis.com, and also show you our um, massive amount of videos that we have put up on the Vimo channel, Yahoo's Kokma, um, because we are getting a lot of subscribers on YouTube, but I want to make sure that because of the time constraints, our videos are over an hour long, some of them, a lot of them, <laughs> and because they're personal studies. Um, and so the better channel for us to, to present that is over at Vimo. So we want to make sure that you guys are aware of when the new videos are coming out. So I'm going to be doing shorter little videos just to let you know so those go out to our contact list that and that you can go over to Vimo and watch the latest that we've got going on. This is our website and it's here at yahooasoasis.com and on this front page here you'll see that you can also if you want to um, get a free bracelet with Yahuwah's name in Paleo Hebrew. Um, all you have to do is just click on the more button, come down to contact us and send us your uh, mailing address and we'd be happy to mail those out to you free of charge. Also when you scroll down you'll be able to get right to our Yahuwah's Kokma channel and you can click here and then you can also get back to YouTube. So it's it's pretty um, convenient. Also at the top of the page you can click here on Vimo or click here on YouTube as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have um, the original music that here that you find on the YouTube channel. Here are all of our personal studies on the feasts and uh, here is are the PDFs for all of these and what you're going to find is the corresponding videos on the Vimo channel. The same with the Covenant. We just finished doing um, uh, the 10 words and we're, those are the, here's the PDF that you can download for free and then the Vimo channel which I'll show you in a few seconds you'll see the corresponding um, video. We also put Paul and Saul on trial. Now I know that that's going to hackle some people, but it's a really deep and involved study. Uh, take a look at it. Think what, uh, you know, do your own research and see what you think. I don't expect anybody to agree with anybody 100% of the time. We don't agree with everybody 100% of the time. That's why gleaning and the, the whole um, story about gleaning the fields is so imp important. You take what is scriptural and what you have found to be true and then the rest that doesn't sit right or because you've done your homework not just that you immediately think that it's wrong but once you've done your own research and see where that person's presented then you can discard that and just go no um, I, don't, I think they went too far or that's I still don't get it so I'm going to put that on the back burner other um studies that we did and this is a very intense one is the name uh, yod he Uhe to claim Yahuwah and these are the full documents on the whole enchilada about um, finding Yahuwah's name um, it's a 13 actually a 14 part study and all of this is the full um, uh, documents if you go to the other PDF uh, spot you're going to find just the PDFs as they appeared in the video so if they're a little bit shorter a little bit more bite uh, size uh, learning tools that you can have and so um, that's just a good thing but check out all of these that you have for your that we have to offer and what we're going to do is we're just going to go over to our Vimo channel here and we're going to show you a little bit of what you uh, we have to offer here as well here's uh, this is these are the oldest ones that we put up this is a really beautiful amplified version of Psalms 104 um, that we hope that you will take advantage of looking at and then this was just the introduction and I think we did this video as well on YouTube but this is just a shorter introduction to the name if you want to send that out to someone who's just looking about the name this would be a good one and then we started our Paul series and investigated Paul and that goes all the way up to here. It did get interrupted with some uh, 
uh, uh, teachings on Revelation. And so that's kind of what we do. If something comes up, then, then we'll stop the study that we're on and we'll go to that. Then we decided that it was very important to understand a couple of words that we were running into. And those words were Shema, Shamar. And that's what we see here. And then we went right back into looking at Paul. And then we stopped right about here and we started looking at Yahuwah's timeline. And then we went back to Paul. <laughs> and um, then we finally finished that and we started looking at Enoch's calendar. So we looked at Enoch and Enoch's calendar and then we have some intensive studies on the feasts and this was the feast first one that we did for Pesach and we literally went through um, the whole story in Exodus. So that was pretty intense. We looked at a lot of different things. Then we went to Unleavened Bread and that was a couple of, of interesting things we always like to bring out just a little bit something that you might not have heard before and that's easy to do because a lot of people just don't look at the Hebrew um, and then we presented another um, special report hell O from the abyss and then we got uh, back into looking at the spring feasts and we did touch on the flat earth or the round earth. I know that is, is getting a lot of play out there now. So we wanted to touch on that subject. And then here we are looking at Shabua and Feast of Trumpets and Yom Kippurim and Tabernacles. And then we looked again at the Nephilim. And this was a study coming down the pike, uh, which is kind of looking at um, future history, as it would be. And here we're taking a look at the difference in the Hebrew between month versus moon, and that makes a big difference. And then here we did a really in-depth study on Psalms 91. And we literally just went through this with a fine-tooth comb. And this was the um, all of the different verses that you, as you see as we progress, all of the different verses that we went through. And then, sorry about that, and that took us quite a while to go through because we don't ever like to just rush through anything and then this is where we started looking at the name and we went and tried to since that study was brought about because somebody was questioning it in saying that it absolutely was evil to <laughs> use Yahoo's name we went through and tried to find every discussion about why it's not good and try to um, show in scripture why that is not the correct thought process that we are to use Yahuwah's name which took us through to another feast so we wanted to look at the um, Jonah this was a little bit of a different feast that we looked at um, when we did on lemon bread last year and then we uh, also took a look at Christian identity and that's kind of an interesting one that you might not come across when looking at Yahuwah's name and the things that are coming up against us. We then looked at Shabuah last year and the um, uh, Feast of Weeks and then we got back into the name and that took us all the way until just a few weeks ago. Um, and that we kind of interrupted looking at the signs of the time and that's when the eclipse and that whole main event thing was happening we were taking a look at that from scripture and then we got right back into it and stopped then again uh, with Teruwa and uh, Yom Kippurim and Sukkot for 2017 and then we started finishing off the um, name him to claim him and here we were looking at archaeology here we were looking at the um, effects that the uh, Greek thought has had on us. And we looked at the different manuscripts. And we were looking at um, when scripture is talking, are they talking, who are they actually talking to? And that was kind of uh, eye-opening. And then looking at really what is the way to salvation. And that was a little different than what we had uh, were taught in regular church and then we added it all together and we came up with a truth seeking spirit no matter where the truth leads and then last week we started our new 
series, and it's only a two-part series on looking at the um, 10 instructions from Exodus 20. Um, at That was the first time the instructions were given. And so we were looking at those and seeing a little bit more in depth of what they mean. So this was just a really quick overview. Um, we hope that um, by doing these really quick ones, now we'll start to try and do them every week and stick them out, that uh, you'll be reminded to go over to Vimo and subscribe over there. And then when we put up a new video, you'll get you'll get those um, um, invites as well that something new has been put up. And always remember to come over to uh, our website, Yahoo's Oasis, and you will um, always find different content up here. Just check the more tab as well. And right now we're going to be looking at the covenant. And then after that, we're going to be looking at Genesis. So that's kind of the plan that we've got in motion at, the, at this moment. And uh, so, and we're also going to be looking at the story of the Maccabees, which we're going to be able to find in ancient history. So we got a lot on our plate looking at this year. And we hope that you will come along with the journey of our personal study. And we hope that this is a blessing to you. And as we always like to say, Baruch Atah, Bashem Yahuwah. Hallelujah, Yahuwah.